Hi, this is Brian with Digital Touch Systems. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, demo of our QuickBoard annotation uh, software. So this uh, software license runs on Windows and it comes free with all of our touch screens. Or you can just buy the software license by itself and add it to any of your existing products. Uh, QuickBoard was built by us here in-house um, as a very quick tool. Uh, so you can annotate on top of documents and just make quick markups and, and things like that. And save them, send them to uh, other coworkers, open them later, and things of that nature. Uh, one of the big problems with uh, other annotation softwares on the market is they're just overly complicated. And uh, you, know, you need a lot of training to figure out how to really use all those. So if you're looking for something really in-depth, we do have other programs. but. Uh, we call this one QuickBoard because it's just that. It's, it's super quick and easy to use. So I'll run through uh, some of the, fit, the features really quickly here with you. And uh, if you need any more information, please uh, visit our website at digitaltouchsystems.com and look up our software page under QuickBoard. We should have some more information there. Um, or give us a call, <coughs> email us, and we can send you a, a trial license. Um, so this page here is just the uh, opening page up here in the, uh, the top left hand corner you'll see a little question mark and really that question mark just turns on and off the uh, the uh, and all the the text that you see here that shows you uh, what everything does so I'm gonna go through those right now um, one of the uh, the coolest things about QuickBoard is uh, our board states and if you look over here to the left um, you have a white board you have a clear board and you have a black board so white is just a high contrast board. Black is going to be, um, you know, just toned down quite a bit, um, more of a chalkboard type board. And then the clear board is really cool because uh, right now I have a YouTube page pulled up uh, on my desktop, and the clear board allows you to essentially annotate on anything on your computer really quickly. So QuickBoard is always running topmost on your screen. Over here in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see an arrow, and if I click that arrow. QuickBoard's essentially closed. So I can move around my web page in the back and um, you know opened up documents. This is just my desktop running. And you'll see these hands down here, and this is running topmost all the time. So as soon as I move the page, say I want to navigate down the page a little bit here, I click the QuickBoard program and it opens up that clear board again. So I can't move the page, but now I can go in and I can start doing th things on top of that page. From here I can take a screenshot. Uh, I can email that and, and save it for later. So essentially we just took what, whatever's on the desktop and made that into a canvas and now we annotate on. So I'm going to trash everything that I just did there. Um, we're going to go back over to a whiteboard uh, for simplicity. Um, I, I can hide all these bars on the bottom. I have an undo, redo function. Let's see what that does real quick. Uh, undo, redo, pretty simple. Trash, I trash the whole page. Arrows, I can take an arrow, I can throw it out here, I can move it around, I can resize it, I can change the colors of that arrow. Pretty simple, pretty self explanatory. Um, over here, these are shapes. Uh, you've got your highlighter. Let's go to the clear board and see what the highlighter does. So um, I'm going to increase the tip size there and then just start highlighting. Super easy. I can change that highlighter color over here again. Now I'm highlighting these. I want to undo that. Or I can simply take my eraser and you know erase whatever I want to. Um, <clears throat> paintbrush here, yeah, that's you know kind of what we were just using. I can adjust the tip size there to make that bigger, kind of like in Microsoft Paint. I can close these and open them back if I want them to give me myself some more space. Um, let's trash that, go back over to whiteboard. Um, another really cool thing is we've got, uh, this is the text editing tool, so I can throw some text in here and then I can uh, click on this box here. I can have, um, let's see if we change this to a blackboard, see it has this white uh, bounding box behind it. I can change that to um, a clear bounding box. My text is black, so if I change my text to pink, I can see it over the top of that. Uh, I can have a black bounding box if I'm on a white 
uh, board state, or I can just make that clear and it kind of works on everything. So I can overlay that onto things. Um, I can increase the size. I can spin it. I can move it around. So uh, just a quick kind of uh, notating tool there. Um, I am going to undo that, uh, trash it, and grab my marker. All right, so this is really cool. Board states. So we only have so much area to really work with. Typically, we're going to be using a, a much larger screen, but maybe we're going to talk about five different subjects. And I don't want to open and reopen um, different programs or different project folders. I just kind of want everything there, but I want a clean slate. So I go over to this uh, right and left arrow on both sides of the screen. That's my clear board, and I can change that at any time. They're all defaulted to clear. Three, four, and five. So I have five different workspaces, and now I'm just clicking through these arrows, and I can go back. Uh, I can change the board states at any time, and it doesn't affect uh, the rest of the reel. So that just allows me to work in multiple spaces and just have a nice clean palette. And when I open the project, I still have those five spaces there. And um, you know everything's there by stroke, just as I put it in originally. Um, up here on the, uh, on the top right, this is where I'm going to open, uh, open and save things. So PDF, uh, I can import a PDF. Oh, I've got to install a PDF uh, reader on this one. But... Uh, I can open a PDF directly in here and start annotating on that. This one's a screenshot, so it's going to snap a picture of uh, my canvas and just you know export that as an image so I can send that to somebody. Uh, folder, this is, um, you know, I can come in here and I can open a, uh, a QB file, which you see right here, Let me, uh, which you see right here. And a QB file is a quick board file. That allows it to be reopened in the same state that I... Um, built it in. So if I wanted to, uh, if I had that stroke right there before, I could go back and hit undo when I open that project again, and it would undo the last stroke that I just did. So it's like I, you know, closed it and opened it right back up. Uh, this is where I save, um, and then I can also open a PowerPoint directly into the system. And what's cool about that is um, I don't have PowerPoint on this computer, but I can pull the PowerPoint in, and if it's a presentation, it will pull the slides in. Uh, as a presentation so I can advance through the slides and present and mark up on that PowerPoint presentation as I'm giving a presentation so um, it's not the same uh, PowerPoint uh, as you see on your computer it's more of a viewer um, for presentation so it's a lot cleaner um, that's really about it uh, like I said super quick super easy to use so uh, trash all this Remember the hand, uh, open and close. I can close the clipboard program really quickly and just have that running all the time. So uh, we do a lot of software mock-ups and testing and things like that. And when I need to talk to developers, uh, you know, maybe I need an arrow or something like that. Um, so I can pull something up and, you know, say, hey, this needs to change, um, you know, move that out of there or whatever. So uh, I really just keep clipboard up on my computer all the time and uh, it allows me to send some documents and collaborate a lot easier. Um, again, uh, check us out at digitaltouchsystems.com under the software page. That's where you'll find uh, all the quick board information. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.